everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new here i'm shaughnessy and on this channel we discuss fragrance beauty and wellness if you simply like to have a good time and you like my vibe subscribe so you all today i'm going to be sharing with you my top 12 fragrance mist from bath and body works that i'm looking forward to wearing this fall so I, I'm still, I'm feeling better. Again, thank you for your well wishes. But when I get to talking a lot, I get to coughing a lot still. So I'm going to try to rush through these a little bit because I don't want this video to be too long. So I'm going to start off with the ones that I've talked about on numerous occasions. We're just going to get those out the way. Bonfire Bash. This has notes of vanilla bourbon, creamy sandalwood, and cashmere musk. This is a smoky, creamy, somewhat boozy vanilla, but I get more of a like smoky, marshmallowy vanilla scent that is so, to me, fall sexy. Uh, I just love it for the fall. And this is a couple years ago packaging, but you can get this now at Bath & Body Works. I almost dropped it <laughs> online or in the store. Bonfire Bash. Okay, next, another one. This is Sweet Whiskey. This has notes of, hold on, y'all can't see. Golden Amber, Vanilla Infused Whiskey, and Sweet Apple Blossom. Now, this is the one that's different from the uh, couple other Sweet Whiskeys they've released. And this is my favorite one. It basically smells like the original Sweet Whiskey, but it's just a little fresher to me. It's just a tad bit lighter and i just love it but yeah they have sweet whiskey um out this year again so you can pick this up at bath and body works i think most of the ones i chose are ones you can get because it when i did my victoria's secret top 12 fragrance mist if you haven't seen that video i'll link it above check it out you know it wasn't that many that were you could easily get in store now but i think all the ones i chose you can either get in store or online for Bath and Body Works, so that's good. Okay, so the next fragrance I wanna talk about is Wicked Vanilla Woods. This is Magical Vanilla Glowing Amber Wood Enchanted Pink Pepper. This is again like a unisex, peppery, little spicy, ambery vanilla. Again, it's sexy. It's, it's a little mysterious. It's good. It's good for the fall. That is Wicked Vanilla Woods. And again, that's last year's packaging, but they did bring it back this year. Okay, we can't talk about fall without talking about pumpkin. And I do have two pumpkin fragrances from Bath & Body Works that I just love. And the first one is White Pumpkin and Chai. Again, this is last year's packaging, but they brought it back this year. This has notes of cinnamon, cider, spice, pumpkin, and vanilla glaze. Hold on, let me spray it again. This, to me, makes me think of a spicy vanilla icing. That's what I get. It's so fall, it's so sweet just enough spice i mean it just smells like fall love this white pumpkin and chai okay the other pumpkin fragrance i'm absolutely in love with is pumpkin cupcake again this is last year's packaging but you can get this online it's the online exclusive this year but you can still get it from bath and body works so the notes in pumpkin cupcake are whipped buttercream pumpkin spice and vanilla batter Yes, so you all can tell with me with pumpkin because that's not my that's not a, a fragrance note I'm looking for or craving. But I tell you what, the sweet vanilla pumpkins, pumpkin fragrances are the ones I can get with this. This to me smells like actually it smells like a pumpkin cupcake to me. I get the cakiness, the cupcake, and I get like a pumpkin somewhat vanilla is it spice in here yeah i'm getting like a slightly like think of a slightly spicy um frosting i don't really know what frosting they have in the store in the can because usually cakes i make i'm making homemade icing so i really don't know but whatever icing they have in a can <laughs> that is 
spicy pumpkin buttercream icing. That's what it smells like. Pumpkin cupcake smells like a pumpkin cupcake. Love this. Okay, so another fragrance note I have been craving this fall is coffee. I'm just in a coffee smelling mood, okay? So I had to put in Midnight Amber Glow. This has the notes of smooth amber, caramel latte, and vanilla bourbon. And this just smells like, I don't know why cognac came to my mind, but it smells like a rich, what do they call that coffee that you have alcohol in? Can y'all tell I don't drink? <laughs> um, whatever that coffee where you put a little alcohol, that's what it smells like. It smells like a sexy coffee seductive boozy scent yes it is so good for this fall season midnight amber glow okay this came out maybe last year or the year before last i can't remember and this is whipped rose latte we're still talking about the coffee scents i got a little dent in this this has notes of crushed rose petals cocoa flower and whipped foam this smells like a soft, creamy, cocoa latte Ooh, with velvety rose petals. It smells so ladylike and feminine. And it's also sensual to me. And it's like, come closer. I smell soft, I smell sweet, I smell a little rosy, I smell a little creamy. Very pleasing to the senses. Love this. And again, this is Whipped Rose Latte. So I did have one. This is the one you, it's not available, you all. I felt like I had one in here. <sighs> but it's just one. I mean, you may can find it somewhere or it might be in your collection. You'd be like, oh. I forgot all about that so yeah i couldn't leave it out y'all because i've been thinking about it and craving it and wanted to wear it and again that is whipped rose latte okay the last coffee scent i'm gonna mention y'all had to know the infamous coffee and whiskey from the men's collection was gonna make it into my fall recommendations because i've been talking about coffee so the notes in this or uh, the notes in coffee and whiskey are what are they okay so i'm gonna say what this is described as because it just doesn't have just the notes listed so this is a warm fragrance with a hint of sweetness inspired by the classic combination of coffee and bold irish whiskey okay so let's spray this on the let's open it spray this on the tester Mm, 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 mm. I didn't even need to test the strip, y'all. <laughs> okay, so this is, of course, this smells. I'm about to say this is unisex. This smells a little masculine. This is not something I will wear on its own. But if you want that deep, okay, so Midnight Amber Glow is like the feminine, softer version. And Coffee and whiskey is like bold in your face, like dark, rich, black coffee. It's not much sweetness to this. So if you want a real strong coffee scent, this is for you. And see, I got this to like lightly mist and then wear like with, I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to layer it yet, but it's good. It's good, y'all. It's, it's just a strong, I'm not getting much whiskey. Okay, wait. I'm getting, I'm, I'm getting, I'm getting a hint. But it's a, it's when I smell this, I think bold, black, strong coffee. Because, you know, a lot of the coffee fragrances I mentioned here is soft. They're sweet. They're creamy. They're caramel. It's a lot of vanilla. It's your Frappuccino coffee. This is your old school, strong, black, no sugar added coffee. But it's good, y'all. It's good. <laughs> coffee and whiskey. Okay, so those are all the coffee fragrances. So next, I'm going to talk about Sensual Amber. This has notes of golden amber, wild berries, orange flower, lotus petals, and creamy sandalwood. And ooh, y'all, this could be year-round, but I've just, 
This is a retired fragrance. This is an older fragrance that they brought back. It was online. I can't remember if it still is, but it like comes and goes. But y'all, if it is an online exclusive still, it's good. It is very sensual. It's warm. It's seductive. It's softly sweet. You have to like amber. I mean, the amber <coughs> is in the name. It's very prominent. It's a creamy, smooth, amber fragrance with a hint. I'm getting the sandalwood. I'm getting that. And maybe, a, I'm trying to see, is it the berries where I'm getting that slight fruitiness? Oh my goodness, it's so good. It is so good. Like I said, this could be any time of the year, but I've been thinking about this one. I said, I need to wear this. This is sensual amber, and honey, it is sensual, okay? Another fragrance I've been thinking about, Fairy Tale. This has notes of pomegranate nectar, fresh orange blossom, vanilla bean, and warm amber. We know what this smells like. This smells like YSL leave. This is... Know, this might be a little little lighter a little fruitier than YSL Lee more feminine you know because YSL Lee the, the original one it's like <laughs> I'm the head woman up in this piece don't come for me unless I sin for you because I mean, it's not sweet it's not none of that it's like <laughs> okay now this fairy tale has a sweetness to it. I think that pomegranate, I am really picking up that pomegranate. And before, when I would smell this, I would only say, leave, leave. But now I'm getting its own take. I'm getting the pomegranate. I'm getting the florals. It's like, uh, oh, I'm loving it. It's a fruitier, sweeter, more feminine version of the original YSL leaf. Yes. Okay, fairy tale. Come through. Love this right now for the fall. One I could not leave off. I just couldn't, y'all. This is sugar cherry crisp. I have a couple in here that uh I think I have three that you might have to look for. Yeah, three. So I thought I don't know what. Oh no, four. The next one I'm gonna talk about, y'all. I'm sorry. But the majority of these you can easily find right now in store. But this sugar cherry crisp smells like this packaging, honey. This smells like cherry cobbler, cherry pie. Ooh, you just want to smell like a sweet, juicy, sugary, baked cherry. Love this. Sugar cherry crisp. And for my apple fragrance that I'm going to talk about, this is just speaking to me right now. This is Gingham Heart of Gold. This has notes of crisp golden apple, creamy vanilla bean, and warm sandalwood. Oh my goodness. If y'all know, like in the movies or something, or I have, I don't really watch cartoons or anything much anymore, but you know the golden apple, they named this right, because this is what I would think how a golden apple would smell. It's, ooh, that vanilla, that apple comes through, but it's like a baked sweet apple, and that vanilla comes out, and that creamy sandalwood, and it just blends together to make a warm, vanilla apple like creamy apple scent but it doesn't smell like your country apple or champagne apples and honey this smells like just the way i would want an apple scent to smell if i wanted to smell like an apple because i'm not big on apple scents i have a few a very select few but yeah, this makes me think of fall. It makes me think of the golden uh, red and, and the changing leaves. And, you know, that apple in the store that's not, not quite green, not quite 
all the way yellow or the the apples it's a little red with a lot of the the yellow it just makes me think of that with some creamy vanilla and sandalwood and take it and make it a perfumey scent i love this gingham heart of gold okay y'all so those were the 12 fragrance mists i am excited to wear this fall and that have been on my mind if you all enjoyed this video please give me a big thumbs up leave me a comment down below telling me your top fragrance mist to wear from bath and body works for, for fall i would love to know you might have some i've never heard about that's exciting to me and then you know add to the list of big and bath and body works please bring them back please bring them back so you know leave your favorite fall fragrance mist to wear from bath and body works in the comment section and please share this video with everyone who is excited for the fall season and enjoying playing with their fragrances because i know i am and please don't forget to turn on your notification bell so you don't ever miss any of my videos videos and as i always say if you like my vibe subscribe until next time bye